Hello, today we are going to learn the what are the general morphological and microscopical characteristic of fruit. So myself, Dr. Kaleska, working at an R.C. Patel Institute of Pharmaceutical Education and Research. So you can download my academic content from the blog that is rcpiperpognosy.blogspot.in and you can subscribe my channel Dr. Mohan Kaleska at the red R.C. Piper to get a notification of the newly added videos. So let's start. So first of all, we should know what do you mean by root? Root is nothing but an extension of stem or tree trunk under the soil for encouragement and absorption of water. So the root has to perform two functions, basically to hold the plant in the soil as well as to absorb the water. So for that purpose, these roots are very stout and they are composed of xylems. And accordingly, they also need to have an, a phloem that is conduction of food. So this is basically a root what it means. Then morphologically what we need to be study generally in the roots. So in morphologically we used to study the uh, all the characteristic which is uh, sensed by the organ of senses that is color, odor, taste, sight, shape and extra feature. So we have been already discussed in previous videos color, odor, taste are the subjective characteristics means which are changing from person to person. So these characteristics are not that much of worthful when we don't have a sample uh, representative sample to compare with the standard. But if you have a representative sample to compare with that, then in that case, these three characteristics are important. Other remaining characteristics, size and shape, which we can measure by means of some units, and we have been learned from our childhood. And because of that, they are fixed, and that is called as an objective characteristics. Extra features means what? Extra features means the characteristic which we cannot classify into uh, above five characteristics. Uh, that is known to be an extra feature. So generally, what kind of extra features are being learned over here are touch, texture and fracture. So other characteristics it may be there that like exfoliating and something like that okay or it having a specific uh, um, uh, lichens and moches over the surface which is a characteristic of synchona. So what it having so root which having a base sorry which 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 is which is started from the stem and that is nothing but a stem base which is at a present at an above that is also called as crown as well as stem bases where the microscopic structures are different and from where basically rootlets are not come out. So here the spot like structures are come, I drawn over here that is nothing but a root scale. So rootlets which is being tear off that produces some pits that is nothing but rootlets. And these are the small rootlets which is coming out and which is in tortoise which is in uh, uh, particularly uh, having a wrinkles over the root. So there are different uh, shapes uh, of the roots particularly they are cylindrical straight or they are tortoise and cylindrical like that shapes are there now we will see the next is in the extra feature we need to find out the touch touch means when we rub these roots with the fingers particularly thumbs and index finger we will feel the different types of touch so it may be slippery it may be rough it may be having some uh, specific uh, texture over there and that lead to the uh, given different sense of the touch that we need to be uh, recording to the touch extra feature characters. Textures means what? Textures particularly leaf, uh, sorry, particularly these roots they having a structure like it may show the longitudinal lines that is called as wrinkles where they are very small. Actually these lines are produced when the root is very fleshy in the live condition. After drying it, it gets shrinks and that produces wrinkles. Next is cracks when the root is very big then it may produce some cracks over the uh, surface of the bark and that may produce longitudinal cracks as well as transfer crack that we need to be observed that is a characteristic of a particular plant. The ridges means small dots which is run horizontally and that produces a ridges over the uh, root surfaces. So that are the textures. So they, you may encounter with the different textures also but these are basically three textures which we need to be observed. Fracture means what here I drawn in six uh, five figures downside. I show near a fracture surface. So when we break the root from the half, so it will shows in surface from where it broke. That is nothing but a fractured surface. Okay, and on this fractured surface characteristic, these fractures are classified into five fracture types. So when it is in very plain, then it is called as a smooth fracture. Okay, when when it is an, having an, something like grain like structure on the fractured surface then it is called as a granular fracture so i given an, i can give an example here if you have a chalk and if you broke it 
So whatever the surface which is in present at a broken surface of the chalk, that is nothing but a granular surface. Laminated uh, fracture. This is the third one. It 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 means that it having in layers of these substances that produces an like an uh, laminated layers, and that is called as a laminated fracture. Fibrous fracture means after from the broken surface there are some fibrous uh, things coming out of the broken surface. That is nothing but a fibrous fracture. Splintery means it is similar to the granular, but whatever the grains are there, they are pointed one, and that becomes and that is that produces a splintery fracture. So these are the five fractures which we can observe into the extra feature over here. In the microscopy of the root, the root. A microscopical characteristic is divided into three parts that is one is dermal tissue system second one is the fundamental tissue system third one is this is called as a vascular tissue system so in the dermal tissue system here it is well developed and composed of the cork phylogen and phyloderm cork is tangentially elongated cell highly compressed containing uh, subarine and uh, waxes and tannins while phylogen they are rectangular cells Okay, if you compare with the cork and containing uh, the tannin, severin, chitin, ferrodum, they are square like cells, they are live, they contain the cell content and this collectively three forms in periderm that is endermal tissue system followed by a multiple layer of loosely arranged parenchymatous cells that are nothing but a cortex. They, the function is to make a bulk of the plant as well as uh, uh, it contain the, uh, the food like material like starch and these things uh, in the vascular tissue system it consists of phloem and phloem xylem phloem is well developed composed of phloem parenchyma and phloem fibers phloem fibers are lignified and phloem parenchyma is non lignified it also contains a sieve tubes but this is not an important for analytical point of view and uh, this is not being recognized by uh, the simple compound microscope while uh, the phloem and xylem divided by a cambium, cambium are nothing but a meristematic cell uh, which uh, divides and redivides produces a xylem as well as phloem. In the xylem tissue system, they are composed of four types of tissue that are the xylem parenchyma, xylem vessel, xylem fiber and uh, xylem tracheids. So xylem fibers and xylem tracheids cannot be separate by means of uh, uh, by using a microscopical uh, tool so it is only possible to be uh, differentiated by means of uh, taking a longitudinal section so we are learning here in transfer section so here we can only differentiate three characteristics that is xylem parenchyma xylem vessel and xylem fiber so parenchyma cell present in a xylem region is known as xylem parenchyma it having a similar feature that of the phloem parenchyma xylem vessels are very long large circular structures which is lignified and uh, the xylem fibers are the very small stout cells and here xylems and phloems are sandwiched between the two medullary rays. The medullary rays may be an uniseriate, biseriate or multiseriate. So this is generally these are the structures present in the transverse section of root. So there are certain things which is present other than that and which makes a difference between the different types of root. Uh, that are nothing but the cork. In some cases corks are lignified. So normally cork, as, as I said, it is in content tannin, but in some cases it is unlignified. Then in cortex there would be in some modified cells are present that may be in stone cell or that may be in non-lignified or lignified pericyclic fiber or volatile oil cells. In the phloem region, the phloem fiber may be present or may not be present. Actually, it should be present as a general characteristic. But an absence of phloem fibers is also one of the special characteristics of a particular drug. In the xylem, xylem vessel may be present in a groups as may be present as in separate individual known as solitary that is an characteristic and medullary rays may be lignified and non-lignified so these are the thank you for patient listening you can subscribe my channel for future notification of added new videos